I've had anxiety disorder most of my life and it's always been a difficult game day like trying to control that. Um, but this this emotion that I felt was more of a yeah, it was more of a sadness and now it was just now that I think of it it was just you know, I was grieving. Dad was living with me like you know for the last sort of weeks of his life and um, and then I was still trying to train and I was still trying to fit a lot of things in and still trying to be the captain of this footy club whilst this was all happening. So like, it was all, um, I didn't really have much of a chance like, to really process what was actually happening. I guess when it became um, to the point where I thought, shit, I need to um, get a bit, bit of more serious help was um, round three, which was actually my 150th game um, for the club. And no one actually knows this, but I was out that day um, sick, but I was, I wasn't really sick. Like I ended up being um, like having a bit of a breakdown in my room because I had like I just had a build off of emotion. Like they had like my 150th fit out the night before, and then I don't know, just thinking about dad and that sort of thing. Like it just I don't know. I just didn't feel like playing football, and um, I was an emotional wreck like, that morning of the game. And I called uh, David Noble, a, a, a general manager, and he came into my room, put his arm around me, and he just said, like, "Look, what are you thinking of doing?" And, um, I, I just said, like, I, I don't really think I should play footy today. Like, I'd be lying if I said I was, you know, 100%. Like, I, physically I was okay, but mentally I was just nowhere. That was the point where I really um, started to talk to um, the club more seriously about, um, I guess, getting some help first of all, and then obviously working out a plan as to what my, you know, day to day and weeks look like moving forward. Initially at the start, those early conversations about it were uncomfortable, and um, I guess I, I remember one. I remember one of the like the first conversation I had was in Tassie, and we were doing an exercise. Um, it was just about um, like a timeline of everyone, every player had to do it. Um, but I was first cab off the rank, and it was just a timeline on basically your life, and um, it got really deep and serious for me. Like when I started talking about my dad and my move back here and um, his illness and. I actually, I actually cried in front of our group. That was the first time. That was before um, the Christmas break, and yeah, I guess that that was sort of the moment. I guess that made me um, not feel embarrassed or uncomfortable with you know expressing my feelings to my teammates and, and doing that in an open forum. If I had someone come to me and say you know, ask for help like, or advice, like that, that would be it. Just to the first time will always be hard, like it'll, even the first few times will always be hard, but um, it gets easy from then and then you just, you just feel better um, getting things off your chest, letting it out there. Um, it gives, the, the best thing for me has been I've been able to speak more openly about it to my wife, like whereas in the past like I'd been a closed book and I hadn't been able to really do that. I've been able to share um, different things with her that I hadn't been able to in the past, so that's been a huge help as well.